Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another for Lychee Friday, the end of May. It's Memorial Day weekend. Um, such a fun weekend actually here in Alma. We have um, something called the Highland Festival and we hadn't been able to do it for the past couple of years. Obviously, you know, lots of things were kind of put on hold, but super excited that it's back. So Highland Festival, meaning like a Scottish festival. So there are bagpipes. Um, uh, well, actually, I love like the entertainment tent. I was going to say like fiddles um, because they have awesome bands that there's one called the Chelsea House Orchestra, actually, that is um, based out of Chelsea, Michigan, like a high school orchestra that comes up and plays every single year for us. And they have, um, I don't even, I'm trying to think of like all the different instruments that they play, but I always think of the fiddle because I love like the violin fiddle, especially in that kind of um, an environment too, very like fun and lively. So anyway, just lots of great um, music and entertainment and fun and lots of people come back home. If they're away, they come back home for Highland Festival weekend. So super excited that that is happening here in Alma this weekend. Um, yeah, I got lots of friends that are coming into town, so I'll get to visit with everybody and just kind of um, enjoy the weekend. And the weather hopefully is going to um, kind of clear up for us. It's kind of dreary and ugly right now, but it's supposed to get better as the day and weekend go on. So yes, and we are playing with the, it's called the, <clears throat> excuse me, I have like this little tickle in my throat. The Uniquely Artistic Stamp Set is what we're playing with today on Facebook Live. So I'm going to make two beautiful projects with this stamp set. It's kind of a, is it kind of a two-step stamping type of um, stamp set? So for example, you might stamp the detail and then kind of um, like a watercolor wash over top of it. Same thing with these two and with these two. So just a beautiful stamp set. Um, I'm going to show you some fun things that you can do with this stamp set, make some beautiful projects um, today. So, and actually no sentiment. So I had to grab another stamp set. I'll show you that one too, because this one's kind of been a, a favorite of mine also called the Lovely and Lasting stamp set. And I just pulled the sentiments from this stamp set. So I'm going to show you those that we've got the thinking of you, there's a happy birthday, thank you, uh, best of luck, oh hello, and cheers, and then some other beautiful imagery. Plus my favorite is um, this stamp right here that there's a punch that coordinates with that. Can you guys kind of see um, that shape? We're not using that today, but like I said, that's um, one of the main reasons why I had to get this bundle was because I loved that stamp and that punch. So anyway, we're gonna have lots and lots of fun today playing with those things. Um, let's see, oh, I want to do a quick reminder about <clears throat> the January to June mini catalog. This is our catalog. Now we've had this for a while and it actually ends um, at the end of June is the last day that you can order from the um, January to June mini catalog. But what Stampin' Up! just announced this week is the retiring lists, which actually we already kind of know, like essentially if something is in this catalog and it didn't make it into the annual catalog, we know it's retiring. But what they also are sharing with us is a bunch, oops, that's going to fall right off the table. Um, a bunch of things from our January to June mini catalog are going to be on awesome sale. So starting on June 1st, which I think is like, is it next Wednesday maybe? So I'll be posting the link um, to give you guys that information so you can get your wish lists ready to start shopping on June 1st and order anything that's on sale, right? Some things are up to 50% off that are retiring out of this catalog. So get your wish list ready, go through this catalog. Um, we actually played bingo last night. And so I was trying to make sure to let everybody know, um, you know, go through this catalog, make sure you got everything that you want. Um, usually, the two catalogs kind of retired at the same time. So this is a little bit different for us that the mini um, or the annual catalog ended at the end of April and then the new catalog came out on May 1st. And then this mini catalog ends at the end of June. And actually there's gonna be another mini catalog that will come out and celebration happens again in July and August. Um, so, but not to kind of take away, make sure you get everything that you want out of this January to June mini catalog while you still can. But again, things are gonna be on sale starting on June 1st. So watch out 
for more information on that. I'll be posting about that. I haven't had a chance to get anything posted right here on our Facebook group, but I will. I'll get the links posted up there um, so that you know what's going to be on sale and you can get your order in. I would suggest ordering ASAP on June 1st because that's when things kind of start selling out. Hello, Marianne. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, but yeah, that once those retiring lists are um, announced and the things that are on sale, things will start selling out. So get what you can while you can. Well, you know, while it's still a available okay um another quick reminder i wanted to let you guys know that <clears throat> I have the designer series paper shares they are actually um let me check my notes here i think um yes the last uh paper share order will go in next tuesday may 31st so um i actually have a couple i kind of over ordered so i have two right now two paper shares available so if anybody is interested i'm just going to do a quick flip because we have two packages of paper that are six by six designer series paper so this is the fun um the butterfly paper can you guys i don't know i'm trying to like get my angle around there it's hard to kind of do that isn't it but you kind of get the idea right and then this is that tea boutique designer series paper so you get all of this six by six paper and then in this paper share look at all of that can you guys see like what a huge stack right you get all of that this is all six by twelve so basically a quarter of a pack of all of the papers in the annual catalog i think it's 12 different packs of paper plus you get a sample of the host the design a daydream designer series paper too so let's see maybe this is a better angle but this i'm going to just do i kind of flipped already once but guys can you see like oh, there's so much beautiful paper and i say this all the time because i think it is so true that the paper and the catalog is not ju done justice this paper is beautiful in person and a lot of times i'll kind of look at something i'll think eh, that's okay and then i get it in my hands and i'm like oh that is beautiful paper so like i said i have two more of these stacks ready to go uh to anyone that is interested the designer series paper share is 44 dollars. if you need it shipped to you i ship everything priority mail because i have tracking and insurance so it's an additional ten dollars to get it shipped to you but that fee is waived if you're local and you want to do porch pickup so again 44 dollars for this full pack of designer series paper in the designer series paper share last order going in next tuesday so let me know if you're interested you can post um, right here a comment um, on our facebook live right here if you're interested and i'll get you signed up okay the other thing i want to do another quick reminder about is the in color club because we have so many beautiful in colors actually i'm going to cheat and show you guys this card a little bit early so these are all of our in colors so we have sweet sorbet parakeet party Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, and Starry Sky. Those are our five new in colors. So if you're interested, hello, Monica, in the in color club, for example, one month, you will get everything in the Orchid Oasis, color, Orchid Oasis color and then next month and so on. So for five months, you'll get everything in one of each of those colors. Um, let's see, how much is the... Um, I always have my little flyers here. $56 to get everything. This is everything. I think I tried to hold this up last time. I'm not sure if I was very successful, but <laughs> I'm going to try it again. And things are like rolling away already. Okay, is there a good way to... I'm going to like lean it up against me. <laughs> I should have put it in a bag. What a, what a good idea now that I'm standing here and not able to. But can you guys see? This is everything you get in the In Color Club. Hey, Amy, how are you? Okay, so here, can I do this on my chin? No, I cannot. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. So you get a full pack of Orchid Oasis cardstock. You get the Orchid Oasis ink pad. You get the Orchid Oasis ink refill. You get the Orchid Oasis designer series paper. Um, the Orchid Oasis metallic woven ribbon. The Orchid Oasis Baker's Twine, uh, the Orchid Oasis Marker, and the Orchid Oasis Stamp and Blend. So all of that for $56 each month in each of our five in colors. I'm still taking signups for that. So if you've been wondering, waffling, wavering, you can still sign up. Um, love to get all of this stuff sent out to you. Oh, plus you actually, I don't even have those here, but you get the in-color matte decorative dots one month when you're the host of the in-color club. Plus you get to pick $20 in free product, anything that you want out of um, the annual catalog. Okay, so if you're interested, let me know because these colors are beautiful, right? So fun, you're gonna wanna play with them. They're featuring lots of, um, <clears throat> oh, let's see. 
Oh, yes. Oh, Sharon says she's getting set up for the Highland Festival dancing area. And I bet you have a dancer that's dancing this weekend, Miss Sharon. Um, I, we're, I don't even know where the Highland dancing is. And I forgot to mention that's part of the Highland Festival, too, is the, um, the Highland dancing, which I always think is so neat. Um, they're like in their cute kilts and their pretty um, blouses, and they're always up on their toes and kicking, kicking, um, kicking their feet everywhere. It's like a very fun, um, energetic dance. Uh, so hopefully things go well for your granddaughter, Sharon. Um, okay, here we go. Um, yes, Miss Abby. Hopefully they go well for Abby this weekend. Okay, yes, at the high school gym. All right, well, I'll be watching for that. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome. She's, I know she does really well in these competitions, so I'm sure she's ready to be back at it, too. Um, okay, what else do we have going on? Let's see. I know I have more good stuff to share with you guys. Oh, um, hi, Linda. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Um, okay, what else do I want to share with you guys? I think, you know what, let's go ahead and do, yeah, let's do our first drawing um, for, what are they, for the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. Okay, so you get your name in the drawing for these Iridescent Rhinestone Jewels, um, three different ways now, right? If you share the Facebook Live video, you get your name in the drawing. If you sign up for my email list, which I always include the link um, to sign up above the details of every single Facebook Live video that I do. And then the third new way is if you share the Class to Go Kit Facebook post. If you share that anytime, I've been posting every single week about that, but if you share that post, you also get your name in the drawing. So I've got lots of names in the um, little basket right here. We're gonna shake this around and one lucky person is going to win the iridescent rhinestone jewels. Okay, let's see who is our lucky winner. Okay, I've got one name in my hand, Miss Kathy Kraus. All right, congratulations, Kathy. I will get these um, sent out to you. She just signed up for my email list. So Kathy, if I don't have your um, address, I'm gonna check to make sure that I do. But if I don't, go ahead and send that to me and then I will get these rhinestones sent out to you. So congratulations, Kathy. All right, let me scoot that over there. I've got to get ready for the next drawing. Okay, so um, let's see, what are we going to give away? I was going to grab the wrong thing. On our next Facebook Live, we have, and I have to open these up. These are the Fun Flower Resin Shapes. Okay, so we've got to, because I know there's another pretty color in here and you can't see them because they're kind of covered up by that little piece yeah okay there we go so yeah you couldn't even see two of the colors right um and i don't even know what these colors are but they coordinate with so those fun flower shapes coordinate i have to show you guys this again because i think it is the cutest paper this butterfly um designer series paper you can kind of see so all the colors in there right are coordinating with the fun flower, right? Is that what they're called? Fun flower resin shapes. Okay, yeah, so that's what we're gonna give away. Hi, Sabina, thanks for joining us. Welcome, it was so good to see you at Bingo last night. We had lots of fun at Bingo. Um, lots of people there last night, and so we had a great night stamping and um, playing bingo and winning fun prizes. This was actually one of the prizes that we gave away, too. Somebody won the little fun flower resin shapes. So on our next Facebook Live, I will draw. Again, if you share this video right here, anytime between now and um, our next Facebook Live, if you sign up for my email list or if you share the class to go kit post, which is the hues of happiness class to go. I'll show you guys again in just a couple minutes. Today is actually the last day to RSVP. So share that if you would. I posted that earlier um, this morning, but I would truly appreciate you helping me get the word out about those class to go kits because I love putting those together for everybody and getting them sent out. It's a great way to kind of stamp um, on your own whenever you have the time. It's super convenient. So hello, Miss Bernice. Welcome. Um, thanks for joining us. Okay, um, so I think I started to show you guys. Um, I want to show you all of the fun stuff. So we had our Inkspired Stampers team meeting last week, and I wanted to show you guys all of the fun um, <clears throat> projects and swaps and mystery stamping project that we did. So 
These cards are featuring, and what is the name of this? It's the it's the little birdie, I can't remember, Sweet Songbirds maybe? Um, but the little, I think it's the Sweet Songbirds stamp and then the little birdie punch. And then we used, um, this is the Design a Day Dream, the Host Designer Series paper. So this was one of our make and takes. They're all similar in terms of the layout, but I really loved featuring all of that paper and then the cute little birdie and all the different sentiments that are on that stamp set. And then we also use the in color um, opal rounds because I thought those, the colors actually don't coordinate, but they are very similar to the colors in this designer series paper. So I thought it worked really, really well together. So super cute. This one says the congratulations, you've got something to celebrate. So I think these are great, maybe like um, baby, like welcome baby cards, or maybe like little kiddo um, birthday cards. So those were the make and takes that we made. And then let me show you guys uh, swaps, actually. So this one, um, <clears throat> Charlene Mogg created this card again with that cute little Sweet Songbirds stamp and punch. And then this one was from Nancy Gulick, and I love this. So she said, I, I made a glass of or a mug of beer for the guys and a glass of wine for the ladies. And then she said, I wasn't sure about the sentiment, but it, what does it say? Oh, ale, yes. <laughs> so that's kind of cute, huh? But I, I think it's kind of fun, the fun sentiment, right? And then this one was from Julie, uh, Julie Wilmot. So this one is beautiful also with the Orchid Oasis Designer Series paper and then um, the stamping. And then this one says, may good things grow all year long. So isn't that beautiful? And let's see, did I, I feel like I had, I guess that's all of them. I thought I had one more. Um, oh, but then, so I showed you guys this just a minute ago. This was the card that I made. Um, found this on Pinterest. I do so much of that casing on Pinterest. I can't remember who. I've, I've been really bad about that lately, writing down who I cased this from. Um, but I loved the use of the in colors. This was um, a card that I made for all of my, my top five sellers um, in our Inkspired Stampers group. I sent this card out to everybody as a congratulations. And then I also love to recognize in my Inkspired Stampers team, <clears throat> if you sell over $600 in a month, you get into what's called the $600 Club. I love to recognize that because I like to highlight the fact that Stampin' Up! actually gives extra commission when you have more than $600 in sales, um, $600 in sales or orders in a month. All of a sudden, I'm like, did I say that right? Anyway, so yeah, I love to make sure that everybody knows that, that Stampin' Up! is going to reward you. And then I love to reward you also with this month, the $600 Club Prize was the Solid Faceted Gems. And these are more fun, bright, bold, sparkly gems, right? Um... What else? Oh, and then we actually do um, a mystery stamping project. Um, so this was kind of fun. I post um, without giving like all the details away. I kind of, I try to give like dimensions and um, maybe kind of something specific that I used. Um, I don't do colors though, because um, I love to see what people will come up with. But this was the mystery stamping project that we did on our last um, Inspired Stampers team meeting. So this is kind of a fun, if you can see, it's like a belly band. So this thing slips off. So again, I kind of gave them the dimensions for like the card base, and then this flips open, the designer series paper. Um, you know, without giving everything away, the little belly band. And then basically they pick their own paper and stamp set and so on and make their project. And then we have kind of fun seeing like what their vision was versus what mine was and kind of how it all comes together. So we've been having lots of fun with that mystery stamping project in our uh, team meetings now also. So with all of that being said, if you are interested, you still have a few days left to take advantage of that awesome starter kit deal, the in color starter kit deal, where you get uh, in color cardstock. So you get a, the sorted pack of cardstock and all five of our in colors. You also get all of the ink pads. So you get all five of those ink pad colors. Um, 
What else do you get? You get the grid paper, oh, and then the designer series paper. Plus, you get to pick $125 in product, whatever you want, and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. So it's an awesome deal, right? Then you get 20% off of all of your orders after that. Then you can come to our team meetings. If you are long distance, you actually um, can get the make and takes mailed to you. I send you everything that you need. You just need to get your stamp set. Um, I do the die cutting usually kind of depends like if there's something like little that needs to be stamped and then die cut around it that's a little bit harder um but you need to get your own stamp to do your own stamping obviously um, but i'd love to um, get you signed up for the starter kit like i said you can um, do the make and takes with us we have raffles and prizes and giveaways that we do every single month at our team meetings um, we do swapping um, so we have lots of great things going on and love to have you be a part of that as well okay um, but like i said uh tuesday may 31st is the last day to take advantage of that starter kit deal um okay i think i did yeah i had my little cheat sheet here of everything included and i think i did say yep everything that was in that um starter kit okay let's see let's see let's see what else do i want to tell you guys about oh one other thing that stampin up met uh just announced is <clears throat> excuse me all of our kits so starting on June 1st are gonna be buy one, get one 50% off. Um, so they haven't been putting the kits in the catalog at all um, because basically they're kind of doing it on a while supplies last basis. Um, so they didn't wanna put anything in the catalog and then have it sell out and not be available, which is very smart thinking on their part. But basically if you go to stampinup.com and click on there's a kits button um, kind of along the left hand side there, um, you'll see all of the kits that are available and now starting June 1st, which is next Wednesday, you can buy one kit and get the next kit 50% off. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know. I'm happy to help get an order in for you also, um, or you can order right online too, okay? All right, um, so Leo, what you doing? He just is like wandering around. I hear this clip, 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 clip. I don't know if you guys are hearing that, but I'm kind of like, I wanna say, Leo, lay down and relax. What's going on? <laughs> He's, I don't know, he's waiting for something big and exciting to happen, and it's probably not going to happen today, Leo. Um, okay, I'm just trying to make sure, because I jumped around a little bit, so I'm trying to make sure that I told you guys about everything. I'm trying to look at all, everything on my table here, but we, should, we talked about that and that and that. Okay, all right, I think we are, I want to tell you guys about one more thing I have going on, and then we're going to do our next drawing. So every year I do something called the Super Summer Giveaway. And basically you get entries into the drawing all summer long. So June, July, and August. And these are all the ways you get entries into the drawing. And then the drawing is actually um, at the beginning of September, I will get some fun product from our new, uh, what is it, July to December, like the holiday mini catalog. And I'll be giving that away um, in the drawing in September. So. Again, June, July, and August, these are all the ways you can get your name entered into the Super Summer Giveaway Drawing. So you get one entry for every event that you attend. You get two entries for every $50 you spend, and that's at class or online. So even if you're long distance, you can still participate in this Super Summer Giveaway. Um, you get another, this is a great way, two entries each time you post a picture of a project that you made right here to our Facebook group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. Make sure you use the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway when you post your project. Hello, Philomena, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, but yeah, every single project, all summer long, so June, July, August, every uh, project that you post using that hashtag Super Summer Giveaway gives you two entries into this drawing. So you could get a ton of entries. Every time you make something, post it, share it, um, and you'll get another entry into that drawing. So thanks for sharing the video too, Philomena. Okay, also you get two entries for each new guest you bring to a class or an event. You get three entries for joining a club. So I have the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Scrapbook Club, the Class To Go Kit Club, and then In Color Club and Paper Pumpkin is considered a club also. So anytime you um, join any of those clubs, you get three entries into the drawing. If you purchase the starter kit, you get five entries into the drawing and you get another five entries if you hold a private party or a class uh, locally. We can even do it online. I can figure that out too. So if you're ever interested in doing that, 
let me know. We can get a date picked out and we can have some fun stamping with everyone. So yeah, super summer giveaway is what we're calling that, okay? Um, okay, I think we're gonna do our next drawing, okay? So you guys kind of know the driller. If you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure that you know how things work around here. So basically, I give you a host code every single month. I have a new host code. I'm starting it a little bit early. Um, this is gonna be the June host code, but I thought we're all I thought almost the end of uh, May. So new host code, if you use the host code and order online through me using the host code, you get, so for example, these are the projects I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. I love these fun, bright colors too, in colors also, right? So you're gonna get these two projects as a thank you from me. Your name right now is in the drawing to win this awesome Sending Smiles stamp set. This is a beautiful sentiment building stamp set and then fun imagery there as well, right? Um, you also, if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the free embellishment this month, which is the um, In Color Opal Rounds, beautiful, right? Um, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And then this was my project from the tutorial for May. So kind of a fun little flippy, something different there, right? So you can learn how to make this card and then 15 other projects in here also. So that's free with a $50 order, picking either the PDF tutorial or those opal rounds, okay? So, all right, I think we're ready. Let's do our drawing. So again, if you order through me and use the host code, and you guys, I know I say this a lot, but I don't get very many, um, very many at all um, uh, online orders. So your chances are so good of winning this prize that I give away each Facebook Live. Okay, so here we go. One lucky winner, and it goes to <laughs> Miss Bonnie. She's been a good orderer lately, so thank you for your order, Bonnie, and congratulations on winning the Sending Smiles stamp set. Okay, so Bonnie, I will get that stamp set sent out to you. Okay, so what are we going to give away on our next Facebook Live? Just in time for Father's Day. I thought this was a great stamp set for dads for Father's Day or birthday, right? Or just kind of, um, well, I don't know. Like, there are lots of tools, I guess, right? Ladder, shovel, um, there's a rake. Anyway, and then some fun sentiments. It says, this one says, thanks for helping me grow. Then we've got birthday wishes, dad, happy Father's Day, to the man who can do anything. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so that's the stamp set that we will give away on our next Facebook Live. If you order through me, just a minimum $30 order and use the host code that I'll give you um, in just a few moments. Okay, um, all right, I feel like I blew through that really quickly, but I think we are ready to flip the camera down. Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. If I forgot something, I'll show you when we flip the camera down, right? Okay, all right. Mm -mm -mm. Let me make sure. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to make sure I have room. <laughs> okay. There, I'll get the host code out there too. Okay. Turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. Okay. Give me one sec to get us situated here. Ooh, like pinched my finger. Ouch is what I wanted to say, but I didn't. Okay, oops, <laughs> there's something. All right, something's loose. Hold on, ladies. Sorry, I know that we're like wiggling around a lot. I should have checked that, I thought. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I think we're okay now. I just don't want it to like crash in the middle of um, a Facebook Live, right? <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. What do I need to do? I'm like so afraid to move it now. I'm trying to get things situated. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> there, technical difficulties over, right? Okay, so this is our new host code for the month, the Z-D-K-K-Y-S-C-Y. Okay, that's what you're gonna wanna use to order through me and get all these fun Facebook Live benefits. So I wanna do a quick reminder about the 
hues of happiness class to go. So these are the four projects that you can get today as the last day to RSVP for this class to go. I'm not gonna go through all the details because I think I have the past couple of weeks. I will include the link to all of the details if you're interested. Basically, you get all four of these cards, two of each of them. There are a couple of different options. Option number one includes the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, the dots, and the linen thread. Um, that one actually is $93. You get the, what do you get for free? The uh, linen thread is free. You get a full pack of designer series paper in that one too. Then option number two is, um, if you already have the stamp set and dies, so you're gonna get the dots, the designer series paper, and the linen thread plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those projects. That option number two is $40. Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together, that is $15. And then option number four is for my downline, they can actually get the PDF tutorial for free and the make and takes, all the parts and pieces for these cards for just $12. So today is the last day to RSVP. So if you're interested, I'll show you the cards super quick there, right? Beautiful, love this paper, stamp set, those fun, bright, bold colors, right? So again, more details will be included right above this Facebook Live video um, today, and I've been posting about it for the past couple of weeks too. So hopefully you've seen that, you've got my emails, and I'd love to get you signed up for that class to go. It is gorgeous. All right, we are ready. Let's do some stamping, ladies. I feel like it's been a little bit. Leo, do you want to do some stamping with me? He will not relax. I don't know what, what is going on, little buddy, huh? Okay, there we go. So again, we are using the Uniquely Artistic Stamp Set today. Okay, so here is our first project. We've got, and again, I used the Thinking of You sentiment from the Lovely and Lasting Stamp Set. And then, can you see the beautiful imagery there from the uniquely artistic stamp set and then on the inside there is again you can see it a little bit better since i kind of um stamped over top of it okay but let me show you oh and the other thing i wanted to share with you guys too because i love i always i always need help i love um getting help any way that i can so for example this is the color coach the in color color coach. So I printed this out a few weeks ago and I love to kind of use this to come up with color combos. And this is one that totally caught my eye because these are my colors, the blues and greens. So this one is parakeet party, pool party, and night of navy. And so that's what I used on my project right here. Parakeet party, pool party, and night of navy are the colors that I used on my card. So you can see this is a beautiful um, cheat sheet, a great kind of um, way to come up with some fun color combos. And I'll share this on our um, on my blog post today too, okay? So you can see that. Oh, and I have a little note here that says I need my in-color match decorative dots. So we used those at Bingo last night and I forgot to put them in. Okay, I'm going to wait. So just in case I forgot anything else, I can go get both of those things at once because that'll be the very last step <laughs> in what we're doing. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab everything else that we need. We've got our ink, or yep, our ink pads there. <clears throat> Okay, so let me tell you dimensions here. Okay, so we have our Parakeet Party cardstock. I guess I shouldn't have put those right there, huh? Yes, isn't that the fun bright green, right? Okay, so along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. So there's our nice crisp fold on our card as always, right? Next, we have that piece of pool party cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then we have our Knight of Navy. So you can see there's my color combo, those three colors together, right? Knight of Navy, this one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth inch. That one is gonna go right there. And then on the inside, my basic white, pretty much my standard layer, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And hello, Miss Carolyn, welcome. Thanks for joining us. And then I have just a couple more pieces of basic white, for this piece, 
another piece of basic white for our sentiment, and then parakeet party for the old circle right there. So just kind of scrap pieces of those, okay? All right, so let's do, um, so I'm gonna do things a little bit differently because this piece right here, I need to cut this out and then I'm gonna stamp on it because it was it's too hard for me to try to line things up um, and stamp um, before I have this piece. So generally I do my stamping and then my die cutting, but this time I'm gonna do it the opposite way. So we're gonna die cut that and stamp that, but I do want to stamp my sentiment. So we're gonna do that right now with our Parakeet Party ink and our Thinking of You sentiment. So you guys saw a nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down and lift straight up. Okay, you don't have to press too hard. All you do is get ink all over your clear block and you don't need ink there. Just gets in the way, right? Okay, so let's do our die cutting. Some of this table feels really small today. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> okay. So we have our thinking of you. Am I gonna be able, I feel like I should be able to fit all of these on, right? This one and this one. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to, we're going to just do it two times because I'm worried that I won't have room for everything. Okay, so there's our scallop circle and then our straight edge circle. We're going to do those real quick. We have a couple cranks to go through the big shot here today. Okay, so there we've got that one. <laughs> There we go. So there's the little thinking of you, right? Okay, then we've got our little, still love that little scallop edge on there. These are kind of like an oldie but goodie at this point from the layering circle dies. I guess I should have showed you those, right? And then we're going to use, these are the scalloped contours dies. We're gonna use that second largest die. I'm gonna cut this baby out right here. Oops, and then we have um, one piece that needs to be embossed also. So we'll do that next. So this is the one I'm gonna stamp on here now that I've die cut it, okay? Actually, let's see, what do I not need any of those things right now? Okay, so one of our new 3D embossing folders, this hive embossing folder. So it just kind of creates this fun, and look, kind of looks like a beehive, right? Um, I just like the texture, I guess. Kind of fun little circles really too. Okay, so with the 3D embossing folder, you use platform number one, the paper inside your embossing folder, and then plate number four, that gray baby right there. That's what you use to do embossing actually let's just scoot this guy right out of the way too and I'll show you I think this is kind of fun you can't see it quite as well swoop doop doop that got all swooped around there didn't it huh right okay so there is kind of the back side so I guess it depends do you want do you want it popping up or do you want it indented right so they're both kind of fun ways to use that embossing folder okay so now Let's see. Okay, I was trying to, I don't think I do. I was, am I gonna stamp off the edge? But I think I'm gonna be all right. Okay, so we have our Knight of Navy ink and I'm using this stamp right here. Okay, I get super serious now. I'm like all hunched over here. <laughs> you can't see it, but okay. So we're gonna stamp nice, easy, right? The tap, tap, tap. We're gonna stamp one right there. Isn't that cool? So you kind of don't get to see all of that. And maybe one right there. And then we're gonna do one more right down there. Okay, isn't that so pretty? It's a beautiful, and then actually on the inside, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna stamp one more right in the corner there. Okay, next we need our pool party ink. And let's just see, yep, I just kind of stamped one right about there. Okay, just kind of pops right off of there. And then this one, we're gonna add one there. We're gonna add one there. 
and one there, okay? All right, I think we've got our stamping done there also. Are we ready? I think we're ready to put things together. So let's see, we'll put this piece on the inside first. Oops, I gotta get this running. So run it and tip it back. Run it and tip it back. Okay, so on the inside, this parakeet party, such a fun, bright green color. Love it. Okay, next we're gonna put our pool party layer. Oops, I guess I didn't tip it back enough. It's getting toward the end. It tends to get a little bit more, a little bit more gummed up as I go. Okay. Then we are going to add our embossed piece. This one I'm gonna go all the way around. With that embossing, it tends to kind of pop up off the card a little bit more easily. So you wanna use a good amount of adhesive to really get that laid down there, okay? Next, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this baby, okay? Press firmly, it makes it easier to peel those little backs off when you do that, okay? All right, we're gonna add this one right there. Then we need our sentiment, our little thinking of you. We're gonna pop that right on there. A couple more, there's that one there and there. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. I love the colors too. Like I said, that color coach was a huge help for me on this card. Okay, then we are gonna tie. Here's our parakeet party, the metallic woven ribbon. I have been thinking, you can kind of see how, can you guys see this, how it frays a little bit? Like you could have some fun by pulling, by kind of stretching this pulling it apart. Can you guys, can you see that? I don't know if, if it's like glaring or not, but I think we could have some fun with that ribbon kind of stretching that apart. I haven't done it yet, but it keeps, it kind of frays at the end and I keep thinking, oh, we gotta do something fun with that. So we'll do that at some point. Okay, so we're gonna just tie a bow around our card. Let's see, how am I doing? Trying to get it tight enough. I think we're okay there. Droop. Okay. Beautiful. I am going to, oh, I did make it super tight. I wasn't sure if it was very tight, but I must have pulled tighter on it. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna trim the ends off, get that little frayed bit off of there for now, right? Okay, so last step, we're not even gonna worry about it, but I will, I'll add them to it. If I send you this card, I'll make sure to put, so those little in-color matte decorative dots, I would have popped a couple of those right on there, but they're packed away somewhere in my um, bags from Bingo last night. I haven't even unpacked yet, um, but you get the idea, right? So there is card number one, little thinking of you card, right? Okay, so we're gonna scoot this. Let me get these ink pads out of the way so I don't get myself confused, right? And actually let's clean because I think I need to use, I need at least this stamp again, maybe that one too. So we're just gonna clean those real quick. Okay, quick sip of water. <laughs> okay, now this next one. So those were like fun, bright, bold colors. And then this one I went with a little bit more like soft, muted tones, right? Isn't that beautiful? So I love kind of all of that detail. We are gonna stamp that little baby, add some iridescent rhinestones, a little oh hello. And then I did stamp again on the inside right there. So I wanna show you guys, I again went to my color coach and I was looking, originally I looked at this parakeet party, garden green and pumpkin pie, but then when I stamped this flower and pumpkin pie, it was like just too much for me. So then I kind of peeked over here and I thought, oh, we could probably use 
those three colors, right? Parakeet, Party, Garden Green, and then the Petal Pink is what I ended up going with. So again, this is a great helper if you're sometimes maybe kind of stuck on like color combos. And we actually have this for all of our colors, um, you know, all in all the collections, brights, regal, subtles, and neutrals too. So I will get that and share all of that on our, um, on the Facebook post today. And I will um, remind you guys too that all of the colors, product codes, details, dimensions, everything you need to order these products and recreate these projects will be on my blog this afternoon, okay? Or if you order online through me and use the host code, you're gonna get these cards as a thank you from me as well. And I have adhesive on here and things keep sticking, so we're gonna have to just rub that off. I think I got it now, okay. All right, so project number two. Oh, and we used my favorite, <laughs> the butterfly kisses. I have to pull this out, you guys. It's just, I know I've showed you this um, like with our paper share too, but I just love this paper. I think it's the these sweet little butterflies too, right? So you guys kind of can get an idea. So we've got the butterflies, and then we've got the backside, then the big butterflies, some more fun. The colors, so this would be another great cheat sheet right here, this color combo. If you like this, like clearly I love this color combo together, right? You could make projects using these colors. I'll tell you what they are in just a sec, but I just have to show you all of, oops, there's the last one, the fun prints. So. These colors are Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Parakeet Party, and Starry Sky. And it's funny, reading those, I wouldn't think that they look so great together, but look at them. All of those colors, they're perfect, so cute together. Okay, so that little piece is this one right here. So these big butterflies, and then the backside is that cute little green right there. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you dimensions again, a little bit more stamping on this one. We're gonna have some fun stamping here. Okay, so we have our basic, this is our thick, thick basic white card base, okay? Piece of card stock along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, and along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our card base. Then we have our piece of Parakeet Party cardstock that measures three and one quarter by four and one quarter. And then our basic white that we're gonna do all of our stamping on. It kind of looks like designer series paper, doesn't it, right? Three inches by four inches, that's gonna layer right on there. And then that designer series paper is also four by three inches and that's gonna layer right down there. So there's really not too much to this card. It's just so beautiful with all of that stamping. And I think I kind of stamp off the edge a little bit. So I'm gonna grab my little, my grid paper for when I go off the edges. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and I know what else because let me share this with you guys. So we're gonna use Garden Green ink first. And you know what? We're gonna stamp on the inside right here with kind of the detailed piece. Okay, so we're gonna do that one first. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press that. Okay, so there's that, and we're gonna set that aside for a sec. Now, we're gonna do this again, okay. So we're gonna stamp, I feel like I'm not holding that the way I want to. We're gonna stamp this one right about there, okay. And then we're gonna stamp this one kind of going off the edge there. And then one more time, we are gonna stamp that one right there, okay? Now, for the next step, this is kind of that watercolor wash, but it's really dark when you kind of ink this up fully. So I'm gonna stamp it off a couple of times, because I just want, we're gonna test it on this little baby. I just want a little bit of color. So you see how it just kind of fills it in a little bit? Okay, so we're gonna stamp it off. I'm gonna stamp it off three times, because that was still a lot of ink on that one. And the kind of cool thing is, is it doesn't have to be lined up perfectly. So if you like it kind of colored in, do that. If you don't want it colored in, just leave it alone. We are gonna keep kind of doing this. And that one right there. 
there we go okay uh oh and then we got to do that on the inside of this one too okay so i'm going to scoot this one away i'm going to stamp that off and then we're going to do it again on the inside of that one there we go okay so there's the inside of the card right so we've got our greens now we're going to bring this piece back in and we are going to use our parakeet party ink again and you guys know we love right the beauty of stamping up that our parakeet party ink matches our parakeet party cardstock that also matches the parakeet party in our designer series paper and isn't that such a cute little something about that stamp i just love it cute 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 oh let's see maybe we'll do one there and we'll do one there so you just kind of sprinkle them around on your card and we can always add more if we need it but i'm going to pop over to these little um kind of dots watercolor splotches we're going to use our petal pink on these those right there that one right there and maybe one more right there okay then last step and oops, okay here we go all of a sudden i was like oh no do i not have that is that piece right there i don't have another piece of i forgot to give myself a little scrap that's okay here we go, I've got this one right here. Okay, so we are going to stamp with our flower. Where did I, where's my flower? Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna just stamp that baby right there with our petal pink ink. Okay, I'm gonna close these up so I don't, <laughs> I don't get ink on places that I don't need them, right? Okay, now we are going to, I'm gonna flip my glasses down so I can see what I'm doing and we are gonna just fussy cut you guys will see because there aren't um dies for this particular um flower right so but you'll see i mean maybe you know i don't know depending on how much you like fussy cutting you can see how i'm really kind of just working my scissors and my paper together actually i'm gonna cut that off sometimes it's easier to not have like a big piece so I'm kind of just snipping along and turning my paper. It's kind of a combo effort where you kind of spin your paper and use your snips at the same time. I was gonna talk about something else, but really having to just concentrate here. Hello, Miss Deb, how are you? So glad you can join us. And there we go, see? So honestly, it really doesn't take that much longer than um, using your die cutting machine. I don't think, okay, we are gonna need those dimensionals. Okay, so let's see, I think we can put things together now. I'm gonna actually put a couple dimensionals behind that flower right now while I'm thinking about it and then that'll help me keep an eye on it too. <laughs> okay, I don't think we need that guy anymore. Holy crafter math on this table. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Oh, you're working on your niece's thank you cards. That's awesome, Deb. I hope those are going well for you. Oh my gosh. Okay, seriously. How cute is that paper? I kind of want to use, I think that'd be too bright. That's too much, right? But, you know, we're going to have to use that paper on something else too busy but look at how cute it is i love it i love it i love it okay so we're gonna just layer oops this piece right on here oh i'm so glad i realized i want to use so this is some of our petal pink cotton woven ribbon from the mini catalog this is retiring so this is really lovely super soft it's like, I don't know, a little cotton blanket is what it reminds me of, um, the ribbon itself. So we're gonna just tie a bow. Sorry, that might not be, ooh, did I? <laughs> I think I did keep, am I gonna get the tail? Oh yeah, okay. Shoo, I pulled a little bit too much on that. There we go, okay. So there's our bow and our ribbon, okay. 
Ooh, I was like, wait a minute, that's upside down, isn't it? Because, oh, one more thing, we need our sentiment, our oh, hello, and we're gonna put that in Parakeet Party Ink, okay? Was anybody else wondering, like, Amy, when are you gonna stamp your sentiment on there? There we go, oh, hello, isn't that cute? So again, that sentiment is from our lovely and lasting. So great sentiments, thinking of you, happy birthday, thank you, oh, hello, best of luck, and cheers with an exclamation point. And cheers to you, Deb. Thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna just scoot that right over there. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this one. Okay. Peel these off. Oops, I already did that one, right? So sticky, 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 yep, okay. Have you ever done that where you think you peeled one off and you didn't really, and then it's like, why isn't it sticking? Because <laughs> you didn't really peel the back of the dimensional off. <laughs> okay, then um, I would say last step, but not quite. We're gonna add our flower and we're gonna decide, maybe we'll put it right about there that time. So that's kind of the fun thing is wherever like you need to, wherever you wanna put it, you can add it, right? Okay, last step, we are going to add um, one of these iridescent rhinestones. I have used these so much. I think they kind of, um, they look like petal pink when I'm putting them with petal pink, but it's crazy how they take on, um, you know, different colors depending on what you need them for, what you're using them for. We'll do, uh, I think I'm gonna put that one right there this time. There, okay. So card number two, whoo, I need someone to come clean up now for me. <laughs> Can you do that? Can someone just pop on over here and clean up? <laughs> okay, so there's project number two. There is project number one. We are gonna, yes, this is the correct host code. I was like, okay, let me make sure I have the correct host code here. Okay, so new host code, Diana, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining us and good morning to you too. Okay, so quick recap, make sure if you're interested in getting these two cards as a thank you from me, you can put your online order in of at least $30 using this host code. I will send you these cards as a thank you. Your name will go into the drawing to win the home and garden stamp set. And if you bump your order up to $50, you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the opal rounds. Okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great Memorial Day and holiday weekend and you get to relax and um, just enjoy yourselves. I think summer is a right here. It's around the corner and ready to go. I'm sure, I don't know, I'm ready for summer, absolutely. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next Facebook Live. Bye, everybody.